Well, we've been driving all day and it's nearly four, uh, four o'clock, but uh, it seems as if we finally reached Craddock. Someone moved, Craddock! Welcome to Craddock. It's now become the town of the big truck. There's some more of them, just look. And it's like Sunday afternoon. We're finally here. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome to Mount Zebra National Park. Okay. We need to fill in forms now. Mm -hmm. So we're by the campsite. Yeah. Right. Let's park off and, and go to reception. And... Yes. Get checked in. Right, here we go. Us. Here we go. We really have an amazing little cottage. Yes, this oh, one's nice. Hey? This one's amazing. Wow. It's got a stunning view out from here. Good morning. I think it's going to be a lovely day today. And now we're in the game area. You can alight from the vehicle at own risk. Yes, well, I don't see any lions, so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Welcome. We're going to do the Kranskop loop. to the picnic site. Let's just see that the gate closes behind us. Okay, right. let's go look at the rock pool. Mm. Oh, it's cold. Would you like a nibble? Okay, let me stop playing and eat my zoo biscuit. Big dam. So now we've come full circle. Yes, we're almost back at camp again. And just look at all the animals. Here are kudus and mountain zebra. Look here. You There's a little one. Studio. 
The little village of New Bethesda, like many other Karoo villages, was founded as a church town in 1875. Today, it is home to a thriving artist community, but is best known for the Owl House, home of the late Helen Martin. Oh, here we go, here's the ticket. But in her mid thirties, Helen Martins, as the youngest and unmarried daughter, reluctantly returned to New Bethesda to care for her ailing parents. After our video, yes, we're going to actually go and look at Helen Martin's house. crushed glass in everything so she was obsessed with light and color color sight yes because the video ended saying that when she started to lose her eyesight she took her own life helen's self-portrait a windowless room that her father died in Right? Yes, according and to then, what the video said. Yeah, and then she painted it black. And called it the lion's den. Yeah. It's black, but it's got crushed glass. Yes. Mixed into the paint. Yes. Wow. Very creaky, the floor. Yeah. It's kind of creaky and a little freaky at the same time. Yeah, I don't want this door to close. <laughs> you know? No, no. Will Bull please enter? The floor is all of glass. Even the wooden glass chips. The wooden cupboard doors and the doors of the house itself yes. is covered in crushed glass. Well, even, there's even crushed glass on the ceiling. Yes. Sure. And the video said what she really loved sun faces. Sun faces, yes. There's one in the window. Even inside of the doors, everywhere, absolutely everywhere, is just glass. The thing that just fascinates me is that the ceilings have got glass on. There's a huge sun face above us. Oh, yes. On the ceiling. On the ceiling, yes. This must have been where she kept all her crushed glass because all these bottles are filled with crushed glass. Wow, the oh, rooms goodness. must have sparkled. Yo, oh, wow, I must say, yo, you <laughs> gotta come to the owl house. It's, it's just fascinating. It's fascinating. You're going straight. And then up ahead, you're going to turn right. right. Okay. I cannot tell you how many times we've been through Graf Renette. And every time, no, no, no. straight. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I just can't. You leave me alone, I'll get, I'll, I'll sit in the middle of Graf Renette and cry because I can't get out. <laughs> We're at the Valley of Desolation now, but we've got 220 meters to go to the viewpoint. So let's go.
Here it is, the toposcope. We were at the Valley of Desolation, and if we look straight, there's Graf Renette. Over there. Let's we're going to put in some diesel. Let's get some, yes. There we are. Oh well. Right. Some Graf Renette diesel, and then on again, on again. Now it's about 20 kilometers to Willow Moor and on to Uniondale. Well now here we are in Uniondale. It's a really quaint little town Uniondale is. Right here in town there's the wind pump. Voila! The Hungry Ghost family restaurant. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, that's obviously from the whole Uniondale ghost story. That's probably where the Hungry Ghost comes from. Yes, probably. Because the Uniondale ghost is supposed to be this woman that hitchhikes along the road. You stop, she gets in the back seat, you drive on a bit, and all of a sudden she just disappears. So Suzanne says she thinks it is around Easter time that the ghost does her hitchhiking. But I think if you don't stop for her, she just appears. She just yo, gets in. Yo, I think she does also I just think get she in, does yo. also just get in, and the next minute here's this woman sitting in your back seat. <gasps> Well, just imagine she's gonna have to sit on a lot of gear. <laughs> yes, there's no space on our back seat. So, sorry for you, ghost. There's no space for you. This little port through here is also extremely beautiful. So we're in Oatsorn. Here's the board, plain glass. Here we go. Okay. Let's go and see if they have a campsite for us. Hello. Hello. We're busy setting up. Look at this fantasticness. There's a tent and a gazebo. And I'm busy putting up a stretcher there. And everything is in the process. Yes, I've just um, swept out the tent. And I've made us a makeshift little mat. Because oh. otherwise all this bark and stuff is going to go in there. There's an old skanky dishcloth that we don't use anymore. Yes. So don't worry, we won't we won't dry the dishes for that. No. That's for the feet. Yes. So we need to we need to hurry up because I, I want coffee. Hello! We're moving again! Oh yes, it feels great. So now we're on our way to the Kango Caves. We hope we're going to make it there for the 12 o'clock tour. Made it. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. You got it? Yes. Cool. Now it's upstairs. Okay. Oh, we got it. Made it. <laughs> so now we're going up to the cave entrance. Yes, right to the top. So we've made it all the way up. And I think this is the level here. Here's everybody waiting. Oh, we made it. Let's go, boys. Okay, now. Now we're really by the entrance. Yeah. 
Welcome in the Kango Caves. Amazing. Fantastic. Most yes, definitely. Most yes. definitely. Yes. Brilliant. Today we are going to drive the Swartburg Pass and we are going to hell. Dum dum dum. Yes, we're going to hell today. So we're just going to see what it looks like and then we will come back. That's more like it. Ah, oh, there we go. On the Swartberg Pass. This pass, I read, was the last pass built by Thomas Bain. And apparently his masterpiece. How long is it? Uh, it's 23.8 kilometers. Yes, of twisting, turning road work which was built, I think I read between 1883 and 1888 and it was built by convict labor and some of the dry stone walls that keep up the bends and the turns in the road they are still there today 130 years 130 years later and they're still holding up the road so we make it see Mr. Bain sure knew how to build the road. Oh yes. Here's the, the wall. Yes. Here you can see this one. Yeah. 1887 it says on. Is it? 1887? Yeah. Where? Yeah, on that stone in the centre, down at the bottom. I can't see it. Oh there, oh there, yes, yes, I now see, yes. 1887, yes. Dry. I think let's stop here, shall we? By Skellum Dry. Yes. And have a little bit of a, a view, shall we? Yes.
we go. This is the top. This is the top. The top. Wow, look oh. at the view from here. Woo. But listen to the wind. Wow, it is pumping up here. I'm not wood. <laughs> I'm not wood. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, it's blowing away. The top. It was 240 prisoners that they used. It was open on January 1888 Shh. Oh, there. That's windy and it's cold. <laughs> it is freezing up here. I feel all wind swept and kind of, oh, how do you say, kind of whoosh. <laughs> whoosh. <laughs> Kampas Kluwef so 37 Ks Yeah Yeah Here it is Dangerous road for 48 kilometers Use at own risk And there's the board Kampas Kluwef As a hell Here we go <laughs> I think we have started the descent into hell. This is the last descent. Okay, are you ready? Thank you very much. 
going through here with all the fire damage you only now get to see how narrow this valley this kloof actually is okay here the road's getting better now oh my word that yes. first bit of road no it's oh, like it's a like four a by four exa size uh-huh no i can go oh got rosy cheeks yes absolutely <laughs> i wonder how they got that caravan in here oh wow yes well it has got a couple of dings and <laughs> and that <laughs> on it here is fontaine oh something scratched the roof now the glass oh this is where Oh. Uh, one of the original families came yes. back to stay yes. again. Yeah. And they stay here. Oh, I love their uh, cruiser's number plate. Hell oh. 3! <laughs> uh, yeah. The year sort of gives one a better idea of what the entire Kluwerf looked like prior to the fire. Here's another little house. Mm. Sanki Marie's little house. This one is just yes, yes. All right. What is it? Let's just see on the little board. It's the honeymoon house. Here's Leonie Marie's little house. So I think you can probably turn around here. Yeah, I think we're going to turn because otherwise it's uh, 22 minutes past two. So yes, and we still have to go the entire way out again and then make our way back to Oatsorn. Goodbye, Oatsorn. So what's our plan? So the plan is now to go to Karoo National Park, just outside Beaufort West. So we didn't get to go all the way over the Swartberg Pass when we went to the hell because it was just too far. So now we decided, okay, let's go. And then we go over the Swartberg. Then we get to show you the other side of the Swartberg Pass all the way down to Prince Albert. And then we just jump on the road out towards Karoo National Park. So glad we drove this side of the pass. It's just wow, it's just amazing. Amazing. Wow, I'm telling you that was probably the most spectacular thing I have ever seen. Now here we are in Prince Albert. Oh, how quaint. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow, I did not expect Prince Albert to look like this. I 
didn't remember it like this. I remember it as a tiny little place and there was only a hotel here and that's it. Well, I suppose the last time we were here, you were a tiny little person. Oh, true. <laughs> These old Karoo towns always have such beautiful churches. It's the Ingeerkerk, the Dutch Reformed. We use the Swartburg Hotel. Yes. Oh, there you can go for cook and tea at the Swartburg Hotel. Stay at the Swartburg Hotel. Isn't that where there's supposed to be a ghost in a room somewhere? I don't know. I think all these little Karoo towns have some other ghost story. Yes. With the hotel involved. Okay, so we decided to stop for lunch. Just had a, having a coffee and waiting for our lunch. Yes, we've ordered some baboa tea. They do have a Sunday lunch special with some roast pork and veggies and all kinds of things but uh, that's a bit a bit heavy but too much i think oh. so we went for the word tea yeah and the sun's come out yes the sun's come out that's fantastic so oh it's lovely okay so we will see you a bit later lunch is ready it is here very very nice there's the word tea and yellow rice and some chutney with some salad. Oh, that's gonna be good. See you after lunch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's so nice. We decided to have more milk tart. Mm. And I've already eaten some. Mm, very nice. Another South African favorite. Mm hmm. And just like the babuchi, we're going all traditional lunch. Yes. Oh. Here's the main entrance of the hotel. It's a national monument. Oh, yes. Yes, there's the park. Oh, yes. Yes, I see. Oh, it's a beautiful old building. It's absolutely yes. stunning, yeah. And they give a stunning lunch. Oh, Yummy. And that was very good. That was fantastic. It's like to check out the old building, eh? Hey? Welcome to Karoo National Park. 